Uh, in this paper, we examine the recent and long-term trends of labour productivity in the UK and contrast these trends against similar economies. It is no secret that productivity growth in the UK has been pretty poor since 2008 and that while productivity has slowed down in most advanced economies, the UK productivity slowdown is remarkable, both by historical standards and when compared to other advanced economies. The performance of labour productivity is usually decomposed into three elements. First, capital intensity, then labour quality, and finally a residual unexplained by production input. Given the importance of capital accumulation to the performance of labour productivity, the chronic underinvestment plague in the UK economy needs to be addressed by academics and policymakers interested in improving national productivity figures. Capital formation in the UK has consistently underperformed comparable economies since the early 1990s. The declining levels of investment to GDP ratios can be observed both in the public and business sectors. On the one hand, long-term averages of the GDP share dedicated to public investments dropped from around 4.5% before 1979 to around 1.5% in the post-1979 period. On the other hand, the share of GDP used to fund new business investment trended downwards since the 1960s. One popular explanation of the lower share of GDP dedicated to investment is that capital goods became cheaper relative to consumption goods over the last 30 to 40 years. Think of the price of a computer with a certain level of computing power, for example. As the relative price of capital goods drop, it is hardly surprising that a smaller share of GDP is required to fund investments. However, the decline in the price of capital goods is not a UK-specific phenomenon and cannot on its own explain lower investment rates relative to other advanced economies. The decline of the relative price of capital in the UK is in line with other large Western European economies and is less important than in the United States. Low investment levels present more of a puzzle if one considers the behavior of interest rates since the 1990s. Real interest rates, or the cost of borrowing in British pounds corrected for inflation, have trended downward since the late 1980s. This trend has accelerated after the global financial crisis as major central banks, including the Bank of England, set nominal interest rate near zero to stimulate the economy during the Great Recession. As a result, the real cost of financing facing safer non-financial private companies dropped from a long-term average around 3.6% before 2008 to near zero in the decade following the global financial crisis. In short, the cost of financing new investment dropped lower since the late 1980s and was exceptionally low following the global financial crisis. Despite this, both public and business investment did not fare well in the UK. Another puzzle is that labour supply has markedly increased in the decade between the global financial crisis and the pandemic. Measure of labour composition indicates improvements in the quality of UK labour. Economists think that more supply of higher quality labour make new capital more productive and should incite firms to invest. Again, underinvestment since 2008 is a puzzle given the UK-specific labour market trends. The paper asks more questions than it provides answers with the underinvestment puzzle being a major question that is still occupying many economists and policymakers. The 2023 witness sessions of the Productivity Commission will tackle the question of investment in the UK, starting with investment in the business sector, which will be the focus of the next session.